Hey guys, it's me again. I just had to show you this gorgeous beach. How beautiful it is. Oh my God. So my feet are in the beautiful sand. Gonna just ground my energy and start to tap into, I just did a video in this group uh, about my divine client who just sold a 12K pay in full. She sold a 10K pay in full a week ago and I was calling people to PM me or get on a call to see if we're a match and to potentially join my program because it's deep and it's juicy and it will support you deeply to rise into your femme, sovereign, holy, divine power. So um, I just wanted to really just share a little exercise too that I do uh, every single day and I'm always invoking and conjuring and feeling into um, my future reality. So I've mentioned today that a lot of people unfortunately lose faith and they're not, women are not clear enough about what they want. I don't think we think big enough. And so I'm inviting you today to really expand into your deep, deepest vision because your vision of your future, hey Kristen, this is a great exercise. This vis your vision will always pull you forward into the next realm. It starts with a vibrational consciousness it will pull you into or move you into and guide you into your next realm. So the question I always like to ask myself is, you know, Ingrid, what do you want? Or to you, to buy one, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do I want? What is my soul calling for? What is the work, our spirit? What is the work that I'm here calling for? Who do I need to be? What frequency do I need to emit? What do I need to claim? What do I need to release and listen and then deeply from that point of listening, follow through on what spirit is asking of you, right? So if I say, I want to radically, hey guys, hey Helly, hey Catherine, I just did another video talking about my client selling a $12,000 package paid in full. She sold another one a few weeks ago at a 10K in the way that I am divine ones is inviting you to just go into a new dimension. I can feel frequency all the time when someone is dense and heavy and pulled down and it's frigging poisoning. It's poisoning. End it. Stop with that. Allow yourself to rise, diva. Allow yourself to go into a new dimension. And it always starts with the choice a reclamation of your divinity. That's what divine stands for. Hey, Rosabel. Hey, Kristen again. Divinity, divinity. See that you're a divine. Of course you can fucking do it. Stop poisoning the realm that's trying to come in. So it always starts to show up in the non-physical. Everything starts off as an energetic vibration and shows up in the material world when you stay true to the vision. Stay true to the vision. You don't waver. You stay true both energetically, mentally. You can't conjure it up by constantly doubting. You can't conjure it up by not doing the work that you're meant to be doing. It's a system. It's a pattern. It's an energetic pattern. So when I'm sort of speaking and seeing things in my life, I actually see it. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Divine One. I see it coming, like if you could imagine molecular, like this beautiful energetic, you know, particles of light. That's basically, you're bringing that into you, right? It starts from your own internal vibration or to be a vibrational match. But you're literally, through your mind and your energy field and your desire and your vision, shifting the course of history for yourself. You're literally bringing it forward, right? So when I wanted to start working with hundreds of women, you know, and I wanted to, you know, bring in these women, <laughs> I would see hundreds of women start doing that, start feeling into, that's your desire. Maybe it's just to start with 10 women on a retreat, whatever it is, see it as a reality for yourself. And then I always ask spirit to guide me. I obviously have all the marketing, the powerful hooks, the copy, the titles. I'm consistently showing up, not only on video and things like that, so I become visible to people, so people who do not know that I exist suddenly know who the heck Ingrid Anna is, and that's what you need to be doing. Because I, stay, I take a stand, I take a stand for my work, I take a stand for women. I put my fear 
to the side and show up in divine service. It makes me take risks. It gives me fucking ovarian power to show up and do my work. So remember, you're always conjuring. You're always creating all the time in this moment. Just say, amen, I claim riches for myself. I claim the most amazing clients around the world. I claim owning my voice. I claim owning my sensuality. I claim the fullness, the fullest expression of myself. Hey, queen. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Kristen. I love you so much. I claim it. People will not hear and see you or buy from you when they don't know what you do. They don't know what you stand for. There's no anchor. There is no anchor. If you want to connect with your audience and have people consistently buy from you, diva, heart energy, open your mouth, own your message, call it, roll it and share it. No more hiding and constriction and heaviness. Be light. It's scary at first because it's a new pattern of behavior and women are told to shut it down, don't be too much woman, don't stand out. What about other women? That's a whole other ball game. I have a client of mine who's allowed me to speak about this. Um, Ania is her name. She started with $2,000 in her bank account. She started off my rich diva tier, which is 397 by 12. She started making money and then she upgraded into my diva mind, my mastermind. Oh, and she made $200,000. $200,000, um, I don't think she spent any money on ads, and she created a $25,000 teacher training. She's a channel, she uh, channels in light, and she wanted to create a teacher training, and she sold eight spots, she, so she made $200,000. She lives in Hawaii, she's a beautiful soul. Um, other clients, this is happening to um, as well, Abby, I know other clients, um, beautiful women who, ascend and then other women get jealous or threatened and I was saying to someone I can't remember one of my students I was just saying just be true to yourself because the right people will support you will honor you will high-five you will applaud you will hold you and will buy from you so when you feel that energy of people being threatened or uh, triggered or whatever. I just say I open my mouth and people are triggered and that's okay. It's part of my job <laughs> and I've learned how to protect myself energetically because I'm not taking on their projection or their perception of me, right? So I can show up and stand up in front of hundreds of people and <laughs> make fun of myself and be loud and be vulnerable and be all the different shades of myself in full, full alignment and in full, full integrity and in full, full heart and honesty because I feel safe in myself because I've decided to claim myself. But there is this sort of jealousy sometimes with women and competition because they're living in scarcity and lack and they probably don't feel, they can't, they don't even realize what they're doing half the time. There's such a level of unconsciousness and that jealousy um, and comparison and competition just comes from the wounded, as you would know, feminine, where the woman feels like if she has it, I can't have it. She's just really not owning her own inherent divinity yet. So I just say, send love, and if you need to move away from it or disconnect from it, do it. Do whatever you need to do to feel safe until you can bolster your life force and your energy to the fact that you just ricochet that shit. I don't stand for it. I don't give a fuck if someone's jealous of me. It's not none of my business. It's their stuff. I don't need to fix it. I don't need to solve it. I just stay true to my message and my vision, right? So I stand for the political, social, and economic power of all women. That's what I stand for. And I will speak up and I will show up. And if anyone gets their knickers in a knot about it, I don't give a fuck. It's wonderful. It's liberating. It's freeing. And I think a lot of soul empaths kind of without realizing we've been in, not the soul empaths. So many women are brought up to feel that we need to make it all okay for everybody else. And that's actually not your job. Your job is to show up in your fullness and to do your work. 
to send love, but you don't need to rescue, you don't need to fix. It is a responsibility of every single human being on the planet to take full responsibility for themselves. So I was always that woman who, how can I help you feel more comfortable around me with my friendships? How can I, how can I make it easier for you? And I don't do that anymore because it's so um, energetically debilitating. So don't do that, be a leader. A leader stays true to their message. A leader stays true to their voice. A leader is self-loving. When you're self-loving, you're not going to allow the illusion and the distortion of other people's stuff into your presence. Into, you know, it might come there, but you just ricochet it off. Mwah! Send it love, send it love. Hey, Kristen, I love that. Uh, I feel that, especially in the empath. Yeah. Yeah, Sarah, I mean, no, that is not your job because you will, you'll drag yourself down, right? So if you really want to be, it's a, it's a shift in consciousness, right? If you really want to be a powerful teacher, you have to teach and you teach people by saying, stand up, stand in your own power. Yes, you give love. Yes, you give empathy. But you know, like honestly, if it's not a client that's willing to invest in you, you know, you, you don't, you know, and even when with clients, it's like for me with the teaching, you have to empower them to really learn it so deeply so that, that it literally changes the very fiber of their being. You can't create codependency and expect to actually liberate people. It's not liberation, it's codependency. So the, the, the shift for me and what I want to pass on is I'm saying I'm going to honor my power and I'm looking at your power. Hey, Marlon, and I see your power and let's bring that forward together, right? Let's bring that forward and birth that baby together. And that's what I hold space for. When a woman is crying or grieving and there's emotion coming up, we move through that. We honor that process and then she rises and she rises. She feels held and safe and seen. But I always have to stay true to the vision of that, what I see for that woman, right? Um, if someone has emotion, it's not weakness. It's just emotion. It's just emotion that needs to be released. So yeah, just honor your voice, honor your work, honor yourself, create really clear energetic boundaries. And guys, I'm inviting you to have more fun, more flow, more freedom, more juiciness, more richness. See yourself working with amazing women. See women saying yes to you and start to bring it forward. And if you are interested on any level of working with me and my team, are amazing by the way, um, absolutely PM me, I am reachable. Uh, I am here for you. I'll answer any questions, send you the whole curriculum, case studies, blah, 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 or booking to talk to someone on my team at ceodivachat.com and they'll have a beautiful heart to heart with you. We don't do high pressured sales, so they're just going to tell you what we have to offer. They're going to speak to you about where you're at in your journey, where you want to go. It'll be beautiful, healing, yummy conversation, and then you can make a choice about whether you want to work with us or not. So I'm sending you so much love. Yes, oh my God, yes. Freaking transformation, bring it on. Um, but really start to really feel into that vision. It will always, the vision, it has to be so strong. And if you ever waver off, you come back to that vision, right? If you ever kind of waver into whatever it is, fear or lack or whatever, it's okay. Just look at it and say, okay. I say, fuck this shit. <laughs> Process the fuck out of it and quickly move back into the vision. Because as I said, it will lead you, it will guide you, it will pull you forward into a new realm and it will help to wash away everything that's not in alignment with that vision. So it's a beautiful healing tool, actually. The alchemy of the vision. Okay, guys, sending you so much love. Have a beautiful day. I'll show you the beach again. And um, yeah, I will tell you this one thing about allowing more riches into my life. Um, I had to really believe that it was even possible. And it is possible. I, re I remember, you know, not being able to, I was just talking to my dad yesterday, you know, or we laughing, you know, how we used to keep money in the undie drawer. That's how we used to balance. 
our <laughs> checkbook, you know, like food, entertainment, bills, whatever. Uh, when I lost my company after I had a clothing company in New York and I lost it due to fraud, long story. But anyway, I had to start from scratch. So I had to forgive myself. I had to forgive other people. And I had to stop being a victim and blaming myself and shaming myself. And I had to start and start again. So I know what it's like to start again from scratch. But you're not really starting from scratch because you might financially be starting like from ground zero. But uh, your, you, through all your knowledge, through all your experience, through your maturity, through the growth, even the most challenging times in my life, you know, when I had a chronic eating disorder, when I had to heal that, um, healing deep trauma, uh, healing from losing my company and starting off all over again, healing from deep emotional stuff to do with my family. Um, all these things in my life have, have given me a great, vast toolkit and that's the same for you. So don't feel that you're really beginning again. You might financially be starting quite quickly, but when you make a choice to rise financially, it can literally sh begin to shift for you in a matter of days, right? Yeah, you're starting again, Marlon, but you're starting with so much knowledge, like your spirit, you have so much to offer. So you can start selling. Like what would it take for you to make a sale today? What is the energy? What is the intent? What is the offer? How are you showing up? How, what are you thinking and feeling? How does it feel to welcome someone in? What does that feel like? What does it feel like to have the money in your bank account? How are you then with your child? What are you spending money on? See all of that and, and keep going. Just keep going. You will get it. You will get it. You can absolutely do this. Way too many people give up way too quickly. Okay, beauties, ciao for now. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, it only takes that one sale to change the course of everything. Honestly, that first sale. Mwah. Okay, bye, Kristen. Bye, everyone. I have blessings to you.